Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. So I just got back from watching the Rhythm Section. It's a new movie about a woman who lost her family in a plane in a plane crash, and three years later, she finds out it was not an accident. Um, it was there was a bomb in the plane, and it was covered up. A journalist told her, and this journalist knows contacts in higher places, and she makes contact with these people to find out more, and she finds out every single person who was behind the bombing of that plane. And it's a revenge thing. She goes for revenge, she goes after these people to try and kill them. And that's what this movie is. And it's interesting, this sort of premise, this sort of concept, it's a cool concept to do, it's a cool premise. It's an interesting thing, because like, it's just a revenge thing, because if family were taken away from her in a plane crash, it was covered up as an accident, even though there was a bomb on the plane, and she's just going after them, after the people that, not to cover this up, the people that did this crime, people that set it up, set up the bomb, made the bomb, the terrorists behind it, etc. She goes after these people and it's quite a thriller in the second half. The first half, there's a bit, it's a bit too slow. There's quite a bit of a build up to it. The movie is not great in my opinion. Um, I just think it's okay at best. I do like revenge storylines. They usually make for good action and some, they're usually thrillers. They're usually like really good to watch. And this one, in the first half, it just felt like they put too much in it. It was like too slow to build up to the rest of the movie. And in the second half, it does get better. You do see more thrilling things. It gets more interesting. It gets more tense. It's a good, there's a good soundtrack to it as well. I'm pretty sure Hans Zimmer works on this movie. Um, and it's pretty good at times, especially for the fast paced scenes. But it doesn't stick the landing for me. Um, towards the end, it's good, but the ending is a bit, anticlimactic like how the movie ends the way it ends where it ends it just sort of like ends you know what i mean it's just anticlimactic how it happens it just it just happens it goes a bit too fast so they spend too much time building up then when they get to the proper the proper fast-paced parts of it it just goes too quickly and it ends too abruptly for me so it's not that great honestly um i wanted to like it because i like this type of movies I like revenge stories but this one, it didn't quite work out for me. Um, there were some good things um, in it, for sure. And there was a car chase especially that I really enjoyed. But for the most part, it wasn't that good. Honestly, it wasn't that good. So uh, as a rating, I'm gonna give it a 5.5 out of 10. I'm not that impressed, honestly. I don't hate the movie. Um, and it's, it's based in London as well. Like there's, it starts off in London goes around to different countries, France, etc. Um, so it's good to see, you know, close to home, but still, um, it just, it didn't quite work for me. I just didn't think it was that great. The way it was filmed also, I wasn't a big fan. So yeah, it's a miss for me, for sure. I'm gonna see um, The Lighthouse and Birds of Prey next week. So look forward to reviews of those. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.